of praise, moved by your spirit. We say yes. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes anyhow. Have your way. Moved by your spirit. Heal, deliver, and set free in the place today. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. Amen, amen, amen. God bless your hearts. In Daniel chapter 3, beginning at verse 24, just a few verses. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste and spoke and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire. And they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the far. And the princes and governors and the captains and the king's counselors being gathered together saw these men upon whose bodies the far had no power. Nor was a hair of their head singed. Neither were their coats changed. Nor the smell of far had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angels and delivered his servants that trusted in him, and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies, that they may not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Let the Redeemer of the Lord say amen. You may be seated. I want to use for a topic just for a few minutes, faith or fact? Faith or fact? It was a fact that the Lord had placed the people of Judah and Jehoiakim, their king, in the hands of the Babylonians. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, we get into mischief ourselves. Sometimes we get into mischief or troubles or struggles based on who we hang with, guilty by association. And there's other times that because of disobedience of a people, we're placed in the enemy's hand. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, where you are, God place you. And there are times that we wonder why. Why were the people of Judah placed in the hand of the Babylonians? If you read in Lamentation, it talks about because of the sins of the people. Did y'all know that church folks sin? And that there are times that we who say that we love the Lord don't show love. 
Don't look like love. Don't talk love. Don't walk love. But we love the Lord. How can you love a God whom you never seen? It was a fact that they were in bondage. It was fact that they wasn't coming out until God bring them out. Uh, Elder Diggs, it was a fact that they would be there for some 70 years. It was a fact that the enemy sometimes want to know just where your mind is now. Now that you're in captivity, how do you call on your God? But I wonder, is there anybody in the house that ever been in trouble? And in the midst of trouble, you called on God. And in all of that darkness, you may not could find God, but God found you. I, maybe nobody here that been, been there. Nobody been there. In this text, we find the deliverance of God's three faithful servants from a fiery furnace. King Neb finds them walking in the fall. I wonder if anybody in the house ever had to walk through a fall. And I'm not talking about just a physical fall. I'm talking about some deep stuff. Yeah, it was far. And, and, and yet, you're here today because the fall didn't consume you. Yeah, it got hot. Yeah, it got hot. Do I have a witness? I almost gave up. But I felt a little breeze coming. I wish I had a witness in the house. King Neb, he, he calls his counselors. He said, did not. I cast three men bound into the fall. They said, true, O king, but now, says the king, I have been looking into the furnace, and I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire. Uh -huh. They were loose from their bonds. You got to understand, you got to go back, y'all, that they were shackled and tied and bound. Are y'all with me? Uh, they were loose from their bonds. Uh, the fall that did not so much as singe their hair. Their clothes uh, uh, that they had on and, 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 and even the cords that were wrapped around their feet and hands were not burned. They didn't even smell like fall. Now let that sink in. Sometimes the trouble we in, we smell just like it. Let me move on. They walked in the midst of the fall. My brothers and sisters, the furnace was large so that they had room to walk. They were unhurt so that they were unable, or they were able, rather, to walk. Their minds, I want you all to get this now. You got to get this. Uh-huh. And, and walking through a fog, you may be concerned of getting burned. I need you all to go with me. 
Uh huh. It's somewhat like when the Israelites walk through the water and knowing somebody probably was figuring the water roll up on both sides or we going to get wet. But they tell me that, 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 that they were unhurt by the fog and they were able to walk through the fog and get this, get this, get this and their minds were at ease. so that they were disposed to walk. See, when your mind is on your situation, you can't get up out of the situation. I wish I had a witness in the house. When you're focusing on what it is, when you focus on the fact that you're in it, then you can't have your mind at ease to focus on God, who is all that you need him to be. And he comes just when you need him. Can I get a witness? Their minds were at ease. So they were disposed to walk. It freed them up to walk like it wasn't even a fall. As if they were walking in the garden of pleasure. Uh -huh. It wasn't even a summer day in the furnace. Uh-huh. It was, it, it, it was to the point that it was gracious for them to walk. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I wish I had a witness in the house, y'all. But hold up, hold up, hold up. They tell me there was a fourth one seen with them in the fire, who form in the king's mind was like the son of God. Now, if uh, uh, my mind takes me there, Jesus, the, the Bible tells us that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So, in and, and, and the, and, and the Genesis, it said, let us make man. Because somebody is wondering how in the world did Nebuchadnezzar see somebody that looked like the son of God when he never technically met Jesus. And the beginning was the word. He appeared as a divine person, a messenger from heaven, not as a servant, but as a son. My brothers and sisters, those that suffer for Christ have his gracious presence with them in their suffering. Even in the fiery furnace, even in the valley of the shadow of death, and therefore even there they need not fear evil. God can show up how he wants to. Oh, my God. God can do just what he wants to do, when he wants to, how he wants to. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Be careful who you shut the door on. You might just be shutting the door on the Lord. Fact or faith. When you look at this, my brothers and sisters, I got three points, and I'm going to take my seat. Somebody say amen. You only had to say it like that. <laughs> the first point is this, in fact, of faith. The fact of the matter is you're in a situation. You can't change it. Old folks used to say, you made your bed. So what you going to do? So the first thing I want you to know that I need your faith to kick in. And it doesn't have to be much. 
at least as the grain of a mustard seed. So the first thing I want you to know that you're never alone. People of God, from the pulpit to the door, we mess up. It's not if, it's when we sin. Amen? Amen. And so, but in that, we're never alone. Deuteronomy 31 and 8 says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. In other words, uh, you're there. What you're going to make of it? How are you going to deal with it? Right now, we're talking about this coming Tuesday. Right now, the media is already talking about what it used to be like. How that when the uh, current administration is in and the midterms usually flip. How many know we can't go on what it used to be? How many? I need some people to stretch out on faith. But can I tell you something? Your faith without works is dead. You got to get out and tell some folks, get out and vote. You just can't say, Lord, move. He wants you to get up and do something. Do I have a witness in the house? No, you just cannot uh, 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 talk the talk. Oh, it's just going to be. They always get away. If that's the case, we still be in slavery. If that were the case, Deacon Diggs will still be in captivity, but eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of man what the Lord has for you. If God be for me, I wish I had a witness. I'm stepping on out the boat. I don't know what the media see. I don't know what it used to be like. But I know my God is able. And that's all I need. Do what you got to do. Say what you got to say. I've got faith that can move mountains. Faith that can conquer anything. I got the faith. Can I get a witness? Come on, where is your faith? Where is your faith to know that God will deliver you in the midst of a fiery furnace? Somebody ought to say yes. Come on with your stuff. Come on, but I'm going to wait on it. My faith looks up to thee. O Lamb of Calvary, Savior divine, now hear me while I cry. Faith. Walk by faith. That's my next point. Walk by faith. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. Say, for we walk by faith and not by sight. We live today according to God's promises. Listen, did you, did you hear what I say? We, we live today according to God's promises. Not what it looks like. Not what it is. Not what it was. But he promised that, and he's not slack concerning his promises. That that he said he would do, do I have about five people in the house? When I call on Jesus, he may not came when I called him, but he showed up one day, and I'm here today because his promise, I'm standing on the promises of God. Do I have a witness in the house? 
Yes, all of the grounds is sinking sand, but I'm standing on his promises because he promised to keep me in perfect peace as I keep my mind stayed on him. We live today according to his promises, even though we can't see them. I can't see it, but I believe it. That's what God wants. They sang it. God wants a yes. Uh-huh. See, we tend to thank God for things that we get. But what about thanking him and praising him for the things that you want to get, but you haven't seen it yet? I wonder, is there anybody in here that know how to pray a Hannah prayer? You know, Hannah prayed, Linda, for a child. She was specific, a man child. And they thought she was crazy. The church folk, the preacher thought she was drunk. Who drinks, good Lord, in that time of morning? Some of us may do a little bit, but that's, that's another thing. That's a whole nother story. But Hannah prayed. And she got her child. When was the last time that you stood on the promises of God and prayed for something? And yet you don't see it yet, but you act like you already got it. Come on, I wish I had a witness in the house. Oh, people think you're crazy because you keep thanking them for the new job, the new house the new car, and you haven't got it yet, but I decided that I'm going to thank him like I already got it because I know what God has for me is for me. Somebody say yes. Yeah, somebody waiting for the healing. Healing in his garment. Just hold on just a little while longer. Can I get a witness? He will come and he will not tarry. So never alone. You're never alone. Secondly, walk by faith. God wants us to be free. Whom the son is set free is free indeed. Some folks act like they're still chained up. Yeah, they still got that slave mentality. They still, the chain's been gone. Yeah, you lock yourself up. Y'all watch the Andy Griffin show? Yeah. Thank you, Dallas. Thank you. They just... Oh, and B, and B can cook, though. And Otis walks into the jail. Are y'all with me? And slides it open and go in for a night stay. Sometimes you think you're locked up. Just push it open and come on out. I ain't fooling with y'all. Y'all better look at Andy Griffin. Faith or fact? Are you going to have the faith as Shadrach, Meshach? And somebody said, I didn't write this. I didn't change it. Somebody said Shadrach, Meshach, and a bad Negro. Because there had to be a Negro in the bunch. Ain't nobody that crazy to walk through a fall. Can I get a witness in the house? So I'm going to count that in that somebody had said, the God that I serve is able to deliver me out of the fiery furnace. And I don't know about you, beloved one, today, but I decided to let my faith knock out the fact. I see what it is. I see what it looked like. I see you got the position, but that means something better coming for me. Can I get a witness? I see you shut the door, but God's going to open another door. Yeah, I see you prospering, but I'm going to reap off of the harvest of the Lord. Can I get a witness? 
fact or faith? What you going to choose? It's to you. God wants to know, will the real you stand up? Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Yeah, if you can't say a word, just wave your hand. Yes. Yes. They used to sing a hymn. I, I ain't going to sing it, but uh, they used to sing it. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. If no one else follows, still I will follow. No turning back. Y'all don't know that. Y'all teach that another Sunday. All right, that's old, isn't it? Yeah, that, thank you, Minister Kim. Uh, but make a decision. Make a decision and live with your decision. Uh -huh. Live with your decision. God is here with open arms. The Lord Jesus said if you come to him, he will no way turn you away. The doors of the church are open. Salvation's in the house. Believers' baptism in the house. Restoration's in the house. Under the sound of my voice. If you're here, you can call the church at 410-224-5788. Amen. Amen. If you're here, come on, step out in the aisle. If you want to become a member of our congregation, come on. Whether virtually or in person, come on, step out in the aisle. I think they got it. They got it. Can y'all help me just a little bit? Let's go out on that. We're going to go out on that. Tell somebody, may the grace and the peace and the love of God rest, rule, and abide with you now and forevermore. The people of God said amen.